Hello and welcome to this tutorial on fractions for the Level 1 Functional Skills Programme. In preparation for today's tutorial, you might find it useful to have the following available. A pen, a pencil, some lined paper and a calculator. Before answering any questions on fractions, we have to define first of all what we mean by the word fraction. A fraction is part of a whole number. Every fraction has a numerator and a denominator. Examples of this would be one half and one quarter, where the number on the top of the fraction is the numerator and the bottom number is the denominator. Now let's have a look at the questions in the 10 out of 10 exercise. Question one asks, what is the top number in any fraction called? Solution to that is the top number in any fraction is called the numerator. Question two, what is the bottom number of any fraction called? The bottom number of any fraction is called the denominator. Question three, work out the following fractions. You may wish to pause the video at this point until you have your answers and the next slide will show you how to work each of the questions out and it will give you the solution. The question is posed one quarter plus one quarter Next question is a half plus three quarters. Third question, two thirds plus one quarter. Question four is four fifths plus one half. And the fifth part is five sixths plus seven eighths. So say pause the video at this point until you work your answers out before moving on. The solutions for each of the problems are now shown on this slide. One quarter plus one quarter will give you one half. One half plus three quarters will give you one and a quarter. Two thirds plus one quarter will actually give you 11 twelfths because the common denominator for three and four is 12. And if you divide three into 12, it goes four times. 4 times the numerator will be 4 times 2, which gives you 8. So that's 8 over 12, plus 1 quarter. And in twelfths, you multiply the denominator by 3. So you have to do the same with the top, so 3 twelfths. So we've got 8 twelfths plus 3 twelfths, giving us 11 twelfths as the answer. Next question, four fifths plus one half. The common denominator this time would be 10 because five and two both divide equally into 10. Five goes into 10 two times. So the four fifths then becomes eight tenths. One half in tenths is five over 10. So we then have eight over 10 plus five over 10, which gives us 13 over 10. 13 over 10 is a top heavy fraction or an improper fraction. So we divide the 13 by 10, which goes once. So that gives us one whole number and then three tenths left over. So that gives us the final answer, one and three tenths. The fifth part of question three, it's five six plus seven eighths. The lowest common denominator for six and eight is 24. Six goes into 24 four times and eight goes into 24 three times. So we say six into 24 goes four times plus the five, sorry, times the five on the top gives us 20. And we have eight into 24 goes three times times the seven, which is the numerator from seven eighths, gives us 21. So we're then left with 41 over 
24. We then have a top every fraction, so we have to divide 24 into 41. That actually goes once, and it leaves a remainder of 17. And that 17 becomes the new fraction. So we have 1 and 17 24ths as the answer.